Hi, this is Ed from Exotic Blanks welcoming you to another video. This one is on drilling straight on the drill press. Uh, we're going to start out by taking an old coat hanger and making it into a feeler gauge essentially. And what we do is uh, bend that coat hanger as you'll see in the uh, illustration so that it is at an angle. It doesn't matter what the angle is, it doesn't matter what the length. As you can see I cut the one long end off and I have shortened it a bit and then I just put a, a slight angle in it and put it back into the chuck of the drill press. Once you have that made and you get it chucked up into your um, into your drill press chuck then it's just a matter of adjusting the height of the table so that the end of that coat hanger just touches the table. Once you've reached that stage, then you grab the um, chuck by hand, do not turn it on, and turn it with your hand until you see that you are touching at each point, point on the table. Now, with mine, I have a adjustment method that's hit it with your fist. There's probably a better, more more scientific method of doing it, but that works for me. So that way I got it to where you can see it is touching all the way around on the table. So at this point we know that the table is perpendicular to the drill head. And that's what we were trying to achieve. And since it's only taken us two minutes to get this far, we will put a drill bit into the chuck and make a hole in a piece of material that would be a pen blank. Uh, what I'm using is a three-quarter by three-quarter piece of acrylic. And uh, we'll just drill that straight through. As you can see, I hold it with a simple wood clamp. Uh, that way everything is square to the table and it really isn't very difficult and it doesn't take any high powered equipment. Um, if I start at the top of the pen blank and I'm in the center, I will end up at the bottom of the pen blank still being in the center. And that's all there is to it. Um, you can just watch it drill through if you want to. Uh, that's all there was to making it square or making it perpendicular. So good luck. I hope you got all straight holes from this point forward. At the end I hold it up to show you that indeed it is square at the top and if you look at the bottom it'll be the same distance. It's also in the center. So we've achieved it. We have a centered hole. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye now.